Are you an empath? Do you look to take pain and suffering out of people's bodies? My name is Rachel O'Brien. I'm an empath. <laughs> I now have actually learned to receive the empath as a capacity. It's an extreme capacity to heal bodies and people. Now, on September 21st, I've got a whole one day workshop where you will receive information on what an empath is and how you can change your automatic behaviors in regard to pain and suffering in the world so you don't actually have to pull it into your body and create pain in your body. This day will consist of two body processes, trifold sequency, which is a looping, which is an automatic looping. You might be addicted to people who don't contribute to your life, that they actually detract from your life. You might be addicted to situations where there's drama and you buy into the drama. This breaks that cycle so you can have peace when people choose drama and you won't even be there. And the second, and tragic shadows, is the second you learn two body processes on the day. That second process is about everywhere where you're waiting for suffering or waiting for pain and you believe that it's your job to fix it and take it away and make things right. This will dissipate um, that automatic behavior in your life too. Empath is actually a gift. And in my life, the name of the day is hate it or embrace it. It is a gift if you embrace it and you acknowledge it. And guess what, folks? For me, the biggest change I've received in my life is now to be that sense of peace with me and my body, you know, with the body work. I can have that sense of peace no matter what people are, you know, if it's someone shouting on the street or if it's someone choosing to drink a lot of alcohol. I don't have to take away their pain and make things right anymore. What a gift. Come join me September 21st in London, in Wimbledon. We will have an amazing day where you will receive tools and information that will allow you to actually have peace, peace with what is, no matter what anyone is choosing, whether they are patterns of destruction or patterns of possibility, you will no longer have to fix it and take away pain. Empath, a gift or a curse, embrace it or hate it, you have a choice. For me, it doesn't change. You will always have this capacity. If you don't embrace it, then what future of disease are you creating for you? Welcome to the Access Body Processes. Come change your life.